they're probably looking at these allegations and thinking, where are the videos? Where are these still shots that we're seeing in these complaints? And can we investigate it to see if there's more here, potentially criminal charge? Now, Misa went into full mama bear mode and tore Diddy up on the internet, claiming that Diddy's act bad lifestyle is leading their son down the wrong path. If you thought Diddy's legal battles couldn't get any juicier, hold onto your hats because we've got the scoop on the latest bombshell. It's a showdown between Diddy and his baby mama, Misa Hilton, and things are heating up faster than a summer bonfire. Remember when Misa called out Diddy for pulling strings to their son, Justin? Well, buckle up because she's not backing down. Fresh off the press, Misa's blowing the lid off Diddy's alleged master plan, and it's sending shockwaves through Hollywood. Misa claims she's not protecting Diddy anymore. She didn't go into detail on what she meant, but she vowed to protect all of Diddy's children from his karma. But wait, there's more. Justin's not just caught in the crossfire. He's now a target himself. Producer Rodney Jones just dropped a lawsuit dragging Justin into the mix, accusing him of all sorts of shady business. And Misa, she's on a mission to defend her son, even if it means taking down a hip-hop mogul. Trust us, folks. What Misa is revealing about Diddy will have you on the edge of your seat. This ain't your average family feud. It's a Hollywood showdown for the ages. Now, let's dive deep into the sizzling allegations against Diddy and his son, Justin. Rodney Jones, the producer who recently shook at Hollywood by suing Diddy for sexual assault, didn't hold back in his lawsuit. Um, this lawsuit is so long. It's so many, like, it's so many things that, you know, he's claiming Diddy did. He dropped bombshell after bombshell, dragging both Diddy and Justin into the mire of scandal. If you thought the drama was intense before, buckle up, because it's about to get even more jaw-dropping. According to Jones, the parties hosted by Diddy were nothing short of debauchery incarnate. Picture this, a lavish mansion filled with women, including sex workers and underage women, and who was allegedly orchestrating this chaos. None other than Diddy himself, with his trusted sidekick Stevie J allegedly organizing the escorts and Justin reportedly in charge of recruiting the underage women. Talk about a party with all the wrong kinds of vibes. Um, so, uh, it's just crazy. Just read, read. But wait, it gets even messier. Jones hinted at a violent incident involving Diddy, Justin, and a man identified only as G, apparently. Tensions reached a boiling point during a heated argument, culminating in gunfire. Yes, you heard that right. Shots fired at a Hollywood recording studio, and poor G ended up taking a bullet to the stomach. Jones claimed that Diddy instructed him to cover up the incident, spinning a tail of a drive by shooting to deceive the authorities. The scandalous saga unfolds like a Hollywood thriller with twists and turns that leave us shook to the core. Now, let's dissect the allegations against Diddy and Justin with surgical precision. Jones didn't mince words when he accused Diddy of subjecting him to a barrage of sexual misconduct. From unwanted groping to coercing him into watching explicit videos, Jones painted a disturbing picture of life under Diddy's roof. And as if that wasn't enough, he dropped another bombshell. Diddy allegedly provided booze laced with substances to minors and sex workers at his sprawling estates across the country. It's a chilling revelation that exposes the dark underbelly of Diddy's glamorous lifestyle. Rodney Jones, AKA Lil Rod, is the plaintiff in this case, and he's bringing the lawsuit against Diddy, Sean Combs, and several others. But the drama doesn't end there. Jones also implicated Justin in his lawsuit, claiming that Diddy's son was not just a bystander, but an active participant in the sordid affairs. From recruiting sex workers to allegedly being involved in the violent altercation at the recording studio, Justin finds himself embroiled in a scandal of epic proportions. And with the specter of criminal charges looming over him, Justin's once charmed life is now teetering on the brink of disaster. But hold on to your hats, folks, because Justin Combs isn't taking these accusations lying down. His representative came out swinging, vehemently denying all the allegations hurled their way. In a statement dripping with defiance, Justin's rep declared, Justin Combs categorically denies these absurd allegations. They are all lies. This is a clear example of a desperate person taking desperate measures in hopes of a payday. There will be legal consequences for all defamatory statements made about the Combs family. And it doesn't stop there. Diddy's legal powerhouse also stepped into the ring to defend their client and his son. They wasted no time in dragging Lil Rod, the accuser, through the mud, labeling him as nothing more than as nothing more than a liar seeking an undeserved payday. With the force of a legal bulldozer, they dismissed Rod's claims as pure fiction, insisting they have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his allegations are complete fabrications. Mm -hmm. I'm a fight for my reputation. I'm a fight for the honorable man I am, the righteous king that I am. I'm not perfect. But the drama doesn't end with the denials. Despite the comms camp coming out swinging, the question still lingers in the air. Who's telling the truth? Is this a case of a desperate producer seeking fame and fortune through scandalous allegations or are darker secrets lurking beneath the glitz and glam of Hollywood's elite? 
but in the eye of the storm stands a fierce defender, none other than Misa Hilton. While she may have kept her silence during Diddy's previous legal skirmishes, the gloves are off now, and she's not holding back. In a scathing rebuttal to the accusations against her son, Misa emerges as a lioness protecting her cub. Misa's not one to shy away from a fight, especially when it comes to her family. A close friend revealed, she's had enough of Diddy's manipulative games, and she's not about to let him drag Justin down with him. Misa's defense of Justin isn't just about clearing his name. It's a full-scale assault on Diddy's character. According to insiders, she's accusing Diddy of not just involving Justin in his mess, but actively endangering him. She's livid that Diddy would drag their son into his sordid affairs, a source close to the situation spilled. She always knew he was trouble, but this is a whole new low. Speculation is rife about what could have sparked Misa's fiery response. Some whisper that it's a culmination of years of simmering resentment towards Diddy's influence over Justin. Others suggest there might be darker secrets lurking beneath the surface, waiting to be unearthed. Big Mouse! Surfer. Make it make sense. Tell me how you squeeze it. Make it make sense. You about the bangs. Indeed, the history between Misa Hilton and Diddy is fraught with tension, marked by public clashes and behind the scenes drama. While their relationship began as high school sweethearts and collaborators in the hip hop industry, it soon soured under the weight of controversy and alleged mistreatment. You know, we were very young. Our lives changed just like that, really quickly. One of the most notable incidents occurred in 2015 when Diddy was arrested for allegedly assaulting Justin's football coach with a kettlebell weight at Euclid. The incident sent shockwaves to the media, highlighting tensions within the Combs family and raising questions about Diddy's temperament and behavior. And Justin Combs. Now, earlier this week, Justin was busted in Beverly Hills for running a red light. Then police discovered he was driving under the influence. Misa's recent outburst following Justin's Dewey arrest suggests that unresolved issues still linger between her and Diddy. In a series of since deleted Instagram posts, she didn't hold back, taking aim at Diddy's parenting, his legal battles, and even his professional ventures. Her pointed remarks not only underscored her frustration, but also hinted at a deeper rift between the two. In a fiery tirade, Misa Hilton didn't pull any punches, launching a scathing attack on Diddy and his recent endeavors. Slamming the rumored reality TV series featuring Diddy and his children, she made her stance crystal clear, I'm not with none of the reality TV stuff. When is enough enough? Yeah, okay. But Misa's critique didn't stop there. She took aim at Diddy's latest musical venture, his song act Bad, featuring Young Miami and Fabulous. With a sharp wit and a touch of sarcasm, she questioned the track's message, declaring, act bad, act bad, act bad. I used to want to be a bad girl. I chose to be a queen, tried and true. In a move that left many scratching their heads, Misa also directed her ire at Uclay, the university where Justin once played football on a full scholarship. Reflecting on past events, including Diddy's infamous altercation with Justin's coach in 2015, Misa didn't hold back her disdain, exclaiming, forget Uclay too, everybody can get it. But perhaps the most damning blow came when Misa called out Diddy's business ventures, particularly his involvement in the beverage industry. With a mix of disappointment and frustration, she questioned Diddy's trajectory, lamenting how you go from one the greatest to ever do it to making all your money off spirits and suing the darn spirits company. As the dust settles after the storm on Misa's social media, one thing becomes clear. Tension in the relationship between her and Diddy has reached an unprecedented level, and the consequences of the lawsuit against Justin for his involvement in his father's recent crimes are just the tip of the iceberg in this ongoing saga. So there's that part. And then when you're talking about Diddy, you have all the other stuff that we've been hearing for years. Plus, but perhaps the most shocking revelation comes from Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, who has resurfaced with damning allegations about Diddy's past. In a recent video, Deal claimed that Diddy had a history of violence towards women, including Misa Hilton. According to Deal, Diddy allegedly assaulted Misa because he suspected her of cheating on him with someone from EPME, a claim that sheds new light on the dynamics of their relationship. Beat up till she got up under the beat up literally till she tried to run up under the car. Wow. Wow. Deal's allegations paint a disturbing picture of Diddy's behavior behind closed doors, suggesting a pattern of abuse and manipulation that extends beyond his public persona. If true, these revelations could have far-reaching consequences for Diddy's reputation and legal standing, further complicating the ongoing feud between him and Misa. In light of these developments, Misa's decision to speak out against Diddy takes on added significance. As a mother determined to protect her son from the pitfalls of fame and fortune, she refuses to stay silent in the face of injustice. Her words carry weight, not just as a personal indictment of Diddy, but as a rallying cry for accountability and change within the entertainment industry. Now, it's your turn to weigh in on this explosive saga. What do you make of the allegations against Diddy and his son, Justin? Are you Team Diddy or Team Missa? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's spark some lively debate. 
Do you believe Jean Deal's allegations against Diddy? What implications do you think they have for the ongoing feud between Diddy and Misa? Your insights could shape the narrative of this Hollywood showdown. Thanks for tuning in to catch up on the latest celebrity drama. Until next time, stay tuned and stay curious. 